Hi, I'm at the Pelham Art Festival 2022 with George Doros from Welland, Ontario. Good morning, how are you today? Great, thank you. George, I understand you have a really long history of art in your background. Would you like to share a little bit about your, right, your well, art journey? It's, it's, a, it's a long history, yeah. Um, well, my painting career didn't start until I retired from teaching, which is about 20 years ago. And uh, I more time to dwell on my interests. I started out by taking a, a course in New York City with Daniel Green. He's a well-known portrait artist. Um, he inspired me to, to get going, so I, I started out doing traditional uh, classical portraits and pose models, and I worked from uh, live models most of the time, and I continued to do that. And uh, just recently, you can see in the background, I started to spread out into something a little bit more modern and up-to-date with uh, some more color. Yeah, they're quite magnificent, the size and, and the color. Um, what, what's your inspiration for doing portraits? I've always got a feeling of satisfaction from capturing the likeness and essence of people's character. Mm -hmm. um, and it just gives me a lot of satisfaction to do that, to, to be able to capture someone and have someone look at it and say, oh, that really looks like that person. Mm -hmm. so, and so you like to um, invite commissions from um, Yeah, well, that, that's uh, most of the shows that I do. Uh, most people won't buy the portraits that I have because they don't know the people. Yes, of course. Unless they're well-known people, like the, the large ones in the back here. Yeah, like Terry um, Fox. And... So I, I do take commissions uh, from, for various reasons. Some for uh, people who have passed away or people who... You know, young children, grandchildren, I mean, there's a whole variety of people, reasons why people want to support the gun. Most of the time it's not of themselves, it's of looking yes. fun of for someone else. <laughs> and I can see, so, um, the traditional ones look like they're done in oil painting. Yes. And then you switch to acrylic for the, for the yeah, more modern, yeah. colorful images. Yeah, the traditional follows, you know, the classical pattern of the masters. Oil painting with a portrait is, is uh, easier to do for me. A lot of people stay away from oils, but it allows you to take the time to work on the values and, and shadows and, and getting a nice smooth image. Whereas acrylic, they're faster, uh, they're more modern, they're up to date, they're, they're uh, brighter colors. Uh, you know, it's like 2020 versus 1520. <laughs> you know? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you for spending this time with us this morning, and You're welcome. have a great festival. Thank you.